mentioned that you were thinking about, or you said um, something that you've seen in Ken. And so what are Kendall's strengths and what are Fantasia's strengths? Can you speak to each other's strengths? Oh, he has a lot of them. <laughs> We, we, we got this I don't, I don't know if it's going to be a chapter in our book we got this one thing called two alphas one name oh you know we're two alphas mm-hmm. you know she was a boss before we met I was a boss before we met mm-hmm. that was one of the things that attracted us to each other is we had the same challenges the same losses like i give you an example um, a wise man told me once he said if if you're sharing your business information with somebody at your tax bracket you're just venting. <laughs> I didn't. Un- I didn't understand it at first. Mm-hmm. He said, "But if you're sharing all your business information for somebody outside of your tax bracket, Kendall, you're just venting. Mm. That means you really have nothing. You, you, you're only leaving yourself for exposure. You have nothing wow. to gain Ooh. because that person can't relate to six-figure taxes. They can't relate to six-figure payroll, uh-huh. things of that nature. Uh-huh. So when me and my wife met, you got somebody with a millionaire anointing, somebody with a millionaire anointing, talking about our losses. And I'm like, yo, girl, so check this out. And she like, boy, let me tell you. <laughs> so we understood each other from that plane and all the associated things that come with that paradigm from family, mm-hmm. um, helping people, mm-hmm. uh, the, the the feeling of being obligated, indebted, so on and mm-hmm. so forth. So I'm going to Debo this one. Go ahead. It was my wife's strength that really attracted me to her. Like... Mm-hmm. It's something about watching her her element when she's on that stage, when she's commanding a room that I find incredibly attractive because I understand how hard it is for black women. I understand mm-hmm. how, how hard it is for women in general. Mm-hmm. But the more I've been married to my queen, I understand this industry. Mm-hmm. And so it's way beyond the makeup and the high notes. Mm-hmm. I see what she has to endure mm-hmm. in order to go from point A to point B yeah. to point C. And to me, that's just attractive to me. You know what I mean? As well as what she has to endure and show her off the stage. And that's what makes me want to cover her is looking at her strengths, but also saying, you shouldn't have to carry this and you shouldn't have to carry that. Mm -hmm. So if you can offload those to me based on my ability to lead and my character, where can you take the things that you are responsible for Uh and and like, yo, now you can soar, you know? And that's the the place that we entered in right now. So as far as my wife's Mm -hmm. strength, it's just her ability to persevere and even endure pain and trauma with a smile. That's a hard thing to do. Because, like, for me, nobody followed me with a camera when I was 19 years old. If somebody would have followed me with a camera at 19, social media would have told her to run for the hills. So I was able to process through my traumas in private. She processed through her her, her traumas in, in, in the media, on TV, on CNN, in the articles. And she did it with a beautiful smile. That's strength, man. That's, that's crazy. Oh, don't okay. make me cry. Listen, I'm going to deviate from a question right now and just say thank you. Um, oh, you sniffed it. I was like, no. No, because you're going to make me. I just no, got my makeup do done. Please. Don't do that. I ain't got no tissue. There are not many like you. And as a woman who has a man who now, loves you on cry, her. I'm going to cry. So, thank Crystal. you for seeing her and for knowing her and for choosing to celebrate your queen and recognizing her strengths and speaking to those because it's not often that people can recognize our strengths nope. and want to elevate them and celebrate them. So yep. thank you. And that's because dudes, and I think we're going to get into that. So that's because dudes, like, we walk around in too much insecurity yeah. and we're too busy trying to pull a woman down because right. we haven't done the due diligence to stand upright. You know what I'm saying? She, yeah. And I refuse thank to you. do that. That's not manhood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, I, ca- I caught it, girl. Yep. I caught it. I was trying not to, but he was over here. Work. And then just to see you over there, Tasia, glowing. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to bounce off of him and tell yeah. you that that was the strength that attracted me to him because I felt like somebody could come in and protect me. I felt like somebody actually understood. Mm-hmm. It was the first conversation we had in Ooh. D.C., we were sitting on the floor. Okay, so we met. Y'all, we got married in three weeks. Okay, we're going to get back to that. Okay. <laughs> so hey, Say what you do for 21 days becomes a habit. So they, I was like, oh, let's get it. Okay. <laughs> so we had, I had a birthday party uh-huh. in D.C., and he came. And I forgot that there was a bunch of people at the birthday party because all I, I just wanted to hang with him. Mm. So, like, everybody was downstairs, and they were, like, having a ball. And me and Ken was sitting Upstairs on the floor, just talking. Just laughing, man. 
And I can't, and it just felt like I had met him before. I'm like, what is it? Like, you're so cool. And the more I shared with him, the more he did not run, and he began to give me, like, solutions mm. to the problem right there. I was mm. like, mm-hmm. man. Hard to hurt, mind to mind. Yeah. I was like, you, you dope. <laughs> then I was like, and he's smart. <laughs> it was like, he's super smart, which sometimes makes me mad. Because mm-hmm. I mean, like, so smart. Do you use a smaller <laughs> word? Your words are too big, too deep. <laughs> but he's so smart, and he came in and fixed, like, all my business stuff. To the point where my lawyer even called me and was like, your man speaks lawyer. He knows how to read lawyer okay. stuff. So I was like, okay, God, thank you. Thank you. Because I, <laughs> I don't know anything about any of that. And I allowed the industry to swallow me. Mm-hmm. They knew I was a girl from Highport, North Carolina. Like he said, I was always going through stuff with a smile on my face. Mm-hmm. And I think people took my kindness for weakness. And it was just like, we can get her. We can eat off her. Mm-hmm. And... When he came in, I was like, he's strong, he's wise, he's going to cover me. And that's what we've been doing ever since. They know now, though. Yeah, they know now. (laughs) Now they know. know. 